Before Heidi could take the baby goat back to the park, Miss Rottenmeier came back home and found it. Upset, Miss Rottenmeier decided to resign. Better write my letter to Mr. Sesserman. When she found the governess's official resignation letter, Heidi ran away so Miss Rottenmeier would stay with Clara. Miss Rottenmeier, Dete, and Clara eventually found Heidi with Rudy, and Miss Rottenmeier decided to stay with them because she loves Clara so much. Mr. Sesamon, welcome home. Thank you, Sebastian. Did you have a safe journey? I did indeed. Would you please take all this to my room? Does that mean we'll have the pleasure of your presence for a while, sir? I plan to stay here all summer, Sebastian. That's a surprise I kept for Clara. I'm going to tell her right away. Oh, Mr. Sesamon, I'm so happy to see you. There are so many things we need to discuss urgently. You won't believe some of the things that happened here while you're away. All in good time, Miss Rottenmeier. I really need to go and see Clara, if you don't mind. Uh, but by all means, Mr. Sesamon, of course. I'll be available when you are. <laughs> Come on, Clara. One last time for today. I'm sure your father will be here soon, and we can show him how much progress you've made. I hope you'll stay a little longer this time. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's great. You're doing it, Clara. <gasps> Clara! Father! Clara, dear, this is stupefying. You can stand. This is amazing. Heidi has been a tough coach, but I think she got results. Results? It's more than that, Clara. It's... It's a miracle. I'm sure that Clara will walk again very soon, Mr. Sesserman. I'm sure too, Heidi. And I also have good news. I'm staying all summer with you. Oh, Father, this is good news. <laughs> now, I'll see you both at lunch. I need to unpack and finish some business before I can truly relax. <laughs> Detta, may I talk to you? Oh, Mr. Sesserman, you want to talk to me? Please. Is there a problem, sir? Not at all, Detta. I just had an idea that I'd like to run by you. Are you Heidi's legal guardian? Yes, I am, sir. Good. As you know, Heidi has been a great help, and I've never seen Clara so happy since before her mother passed away. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what would you think if I offered to give Heidi the same future as Clara and adopt her legally? Adopt Heidi? She wouldn't want for anything in her life ever again. I don't want to rush into anything, but if you think that could be a good idea for Heidi, I would be honored to make her Clara's sister. I must admit I didn't expect that. I don't know what to say. I understand you need some time to think about it. Please let me know as soon as you've reached a decision. Mr. Sesserman? Yes? That would be very nice for Heidi. We would be honored, sir. Are you sure, Detta? Quite sure, sir. Thank you, Detta. I'll get a council clerk to come this afternoon to sign the papers. I think we're going to make two little girls very happy. <clears throat> well, 
There's something I need to talk to you all about. Heidi, you have been a great help for Clara since you arrived in our house. And I can see that the two of you are really good friends. Thank you, sir. Yes, we are, Father. We are the best of friends. Well, what would you say if you could become like sisters? <gasps> that would be great! Yes, it would! Oh. Well, Heidi, would you agree if I offered to adopt you? <gasps> really? You would do that, Father? <sighs> Clara, dear, let Heidi reply. mean to adopt? That means you'll officially be Clara's sister and my daughter and you'll stay with us here forever. Here in Frankfurt forever? It's settled then. Let's have a toast. <laughs> Heidi, shouldn't you be in your room having a nap now? I couldn't sleep. Can I ask you something about the... Adoption, Aunt Detta. But of course, Heidi. Come on, have a seat. Now, what seems to be the problem? Mr. Sessiman said that if he adopts me, I will live here forever. Is that true? Yes, Heidi. You will be part of the Sessiman family, and you'll be treated exactly like Clara here. But d does that mean that I can't go back to the mountains to see Grandfather? Maybe you can ask Mr. Sessiman to visit him during summer. But you'll live and study here in Frankfurt to become a young lady. <sighs> then I don't think I want to be adopted, Aunt Teta. <sighs> but you can't refuse Heidi. This is a great opportunity for you. But I don't want to, Aunt Teta. I want to go back to the mountains to live with Grandfather. <sighs> Heidi, I understand this is hard for you. But the life Mr. Sessiman is offering you will be much better, I can assure you. You wouldn't have to worry about money. You could have an education, a real home. This is what your mother would have wanted for you. Are you sure? And what would Grandfather say? He would be very happy for you. Don't you want to be Clara's sister? Of course I want to. That would be great to have Clara as a sister. Then we'll sign the adoption papers and everything will be fine. All right? All right, Aunt Detta. Good. Now, go back to your room and try to rest a bit. Mr. Dinkerman, I'm here to see Mr. Sessiman regarding an adoption. <gasps> Mr. Sessiman is waiting for you, sir. Please come in. <laughs> so, here is the adoption contract. Everything is in order. All I need is your signature and the child's legal guardians. And, of course, our fee to process the paperwork. Don't you need to see Heidi? To ask her questions, to make sure she's okay with the process? No, no. As long as her legal guardian accepts the adoption, there is nothing else I need. Oh, I thought... Uh, if you could sign right now, I do have other appointments this afternoon. Please. Yes, sir. Uh, Sebastian. Could you ask Detta and Heidi to come here, please? Of course, sir. I really don't need to see the child, sir. Well, I do. Hmm. 
Miss Heidi? Hmm. Come in. Is Miss Heidi with you, Miss Clara? No, Sebastian. Are you telling me that Adelaide has disappeared? She's not in her room and not in Miss Clara's. I hope she didn't run away again. <gasps> but why would she run away? Uh, Heidi might have been a bit frightened by the adoption. It's, it's a very big change for her, you know. Mm. Should we tell father about this? Heidi just needs to adjust Clara, just like when she came here from the mountains. I'm sure she's in the house somewhere. If we take one floor each, we'll find her in no time. I'll take the first floor. Detta, look around here. And you, check the second floor. I'll look in the courtyard. Maybe she went outside. Thank you, Clara. We'll find her. Do you think they'll be much longer? I'm sure they'll be here any minute now. Maybe. As we're waiting, we could organize the fee payment right now. Let's do things in order, Mr. Dinkelman. I'm sure you can spare a few minutes in your busy schedule, can't you? But of course, Mr. Sessiman. Adelaide? Are you here? Heidi? Heidi? Heidi! Heidi? Are you here? Huh? Detta? Oh, oh, Mr. Sessiman. What are you doing? Where is Heidi? The council clerk is waiting. We're looking for her, sir. <gasps> Heidi? What are you doing up there? Everyone's looking for you. I don't want them to find me. But why? I am sorry, Clara, but I don't think I want to be adopted. But don't you want us to become sisters? Of course I do, Clara, but I can't. I have to go back to the mountains soon to be with Grandfather, and I won't be able to do it if your father adopts me. is going on. Mr. Sassaman? Mr. Dinkelman, I'll be right with you. I really need to get going soon, sir. Should we sign those papers? We won't sign anything until we find Heidi, Mr. Dinkelman. If you need more time to think about it, maybe I should leave then. Uh, um, just wait. Mr. Sassaman, sir. I think Heidi is in the courtyard, sir. Oh, good. You see? It won't take a minute. Please come with us. <clears throat> Heidi! What are you doing up there? Come on down, now. I don't want to, Aunt Detta. And I don't want to be adopted. <gasps> Is she all right? She's just hiding in the tree, but she's safe. Oh. <sighs> Heidi, can I ask you why you don't want to be adopted? Don't you like it here, living with Clara? I like living with Clara, but I want to see Grandfather. We could go and see him. What do you think? But could we live there all the time? Now, Heidi, you can't live in the mountains forever. 
Mr. Sesman wants to give you an education so you can have a good life. Mr. Sesman, with all due respect, I don't understand what the situation is here. Will you let a capricious little girl rule your house? You and the child's legal guardian seem to agree on what's best for this young lady. Let's sign the papers and it will all be settled. Mr. Dinkelman, I appreciate your concern, but I need you to give us a few more minutes. Ah, Sebastian. Now, let me get that. Oh, Mr. Sesaman, be careful. <laughs> I'm not yet so old that I can't climb a ladder, Miss Rottenmeyer. Don't you want to come down so we can talk about all this? <clears throat> all right, then. We should build a tree house, especially if you're going to spend the summer up here. Do you see how your aunt looks worried? Are you sure you don't want to come down to reassure her? Mm. You really don't want to live in the city with us. I miss the mountains. And I promise you can see them again. But I'll have to come back to Frankfurt with you afterwards. I am sorry, Heidi. But life in the city will give you so many more opportunities. You're still a child, and you don't know what the whole world has to offer. I just want to be in the mountains. Hmm. Well, I might have a proposition for you. Do you think he'll get her to come down? I'm sure he will, Clara. I hope he will soon. I don't like to see them in that tree. It's so dangerous. Look! <laughs> I've got you. Catch, Mr. Sesaman. Now that the child is safe, what do you say we sign those papers? Make her your daughter before she runs away again. Mr. Dinkelman, I don't think we will require your services today. What? You're going to let this ridiculous tantrum come between you and the adoption? If you cared a bit more about the people than about your precious signatures, and your even more precious fee, Mr. Dinkelman, you would have seen that this was not a tantrum, but only a child trying to communicate her fears. And that, for me, is important, especially coming from a child so dear to my heart. <sighs> now, I'm sorry if I abused your precious time. Sebastian will show you out. I'm sure you don't want to be late for your next appointment. <laughs> I think it's all for the best. Who would like to adopt such a troubled child anyway? Oh. Get out of my sight. Father, you don't want to adopt Heidi anymore? Of course I want to. But I think it is too early for Heidi to decide what she really wants. And I don't want to force her. Do you understand, Clara? Yes. Does that mean you're going to go back to the mountains, Heidi? I will one day, but not before you walk again, Clara. I will stay here until you heal. But you'll leave me after that. Can you take me back to my room, Father? I think I need to rest. Are you sure?
Clara, I want to be your sister. I really do. But you want to leave. You are my best friend. You know how I need the mountains. And when you walk, you can visit me as many times as you want. And for as long as you want. I'll ask Grandfather to keep a bedroom for you at all times. We'll see each other often, I promise, even though we won't live together. And I'll always think about you. I will always be your sister at heart, whether I'm here or not. Adelaide is right, Clara. Even if I don't live with her and I don't see her as much as I'd like to, I love my sister more than anything else in the whole world. And she loves me the same way. Are we still friends forever?